Adams. Another abandoned Russian junk. Destroyed. But the attacks continue. This APC was driving carelessly along the road until a Ukrainian drone showed up. Another APC. Will it repeat the fate of the previous one? Who would doubt it? To cover their tanks, Russians often use Sun Chepyok systems. Their thermobaric munitions are incredibly powerful. These are high priority and very important targets on the battlefield. A kamikaze drone hits one of these systems. This Sun Chepyok rushed to its position. The drone is chasing him and makes a precision strike. The explosion is like a volcanic eruption. The pieces are flying hundreds of meters upwards. In a moment, $15 million vanishes into thin air. The BM-21 Grad just launched a strike on Ukrainian positions. The Russians reloaded and moved to new coordinates. We're seeing the Russians preparing the system for another attack. If the AFU hits here, you know what's gonna happen. That's exactly what's happening. The Ukrainians send a drone to disrupt the second attack. Such a high temperature from the explosion leaves behind only a black spot on the ground. Various systems help Russian tanks in assaults. For example, the UR-77 Meteorite. This engineering vehicle clears paths through minefields. It uses explosives for this. Two charges, each weighing 725 kilograms. This is how the Russians used it in Mariupol in 2022. And this is how the AFU destroys the installation in 2024. The Ukrainian drone strikes the UR-77. A fire starts, which engulfs the charges. Look how bright the flames are. This becomes the cause of such a powerful explosion. Incredible explosion creates a new cloud against the blue sky. You should see it again. Now we have the artillery mortar self-propelled unit, Nona. A good weapon for supporting assaulting forces. An artillery duel begins. The Ukrainian artillery fires. A perfect hit. Reconnaissance drone records the work done. Mission successful. Here, we have two Nonna units. The Russians are actively firing at Ukrainian fortifications. But this doesn't last long. HIMARS launches rockets. The rockets perfectly hit both self-propelled guns. This APC is confidently charging into an assault. A PC is driving along the forest belt. There are grids and camouflage nets. In first person, we can see it turning, and a drone dives straight at it. Nothing remains. Another armored vehicle moves forward on a different path. It manages to dodge an artillery strike. Even a mine doesn't stop it. But when the Ukrainian operator sends a drone toward it, this happens. An explosion of incredible force. Thousands of fragments scatter hundreds of meters away. Don't think these are the most epic explosions. There's something more exciting to come. Did this tank have a chance? Covered in dynamic protection, with an EW system on its roof. But after hitting a mine, the tank was abandoned.
After the grenade explosion, a fire starts. The thermal traps heat up and explode, creating this beautiful effect. The tank is destroyed by fire. The Russian T-80 tank sets off for a mission. The tank is driving along the road, bypassing already destroyed equipment. What were they thinking? The Ukrainian drone is already in the air, pursuing its target. The drone will aim at this part, but will the Polot be able to do it this time? On the tank's turret, we can see its name, Chernuka. The Kamikaze drone crashes between the turret and the hull. The charge pierces the armor and hits the munitions. The tank explodes. The assault fails. No one and nothing can save this Russian APC. A Ukrainian drone has landed on its tail. For a moment, we can see it. The APC bursts like a soap bubble. Look at this. The tank's gun is still sealed. On the bottom right, we see footage on behalf of the AFU pilot. The first one flies under the tank, but the next drone hits the right place. The job is done perfectly. Two APCs are assaulting a Ukrainian settlement. One covers the other, continuously attacking the Ukrainian troops. Drones come to the rescue. The second Russian APC is left without support, but continues the assault. Cluster munitions explode very close. The APC hits mines and stops. A second Ukrainian drone is already hovering above. It strikes the target. The armored vehicle is engulfed in flames. The temperature quickly ignites the ammunition, and there is an incredibly violent explosion. The APC evaporates, leaving only burning earth. Passing through yet another destroyed village, the Russian tank wasn't ready for what happens next. The video shows how the drone dives into the tank. This is where the tank's vulnerability is. If an AFU pilot can get a drone in there, the target will be turned into atoms. A precision drone hit causes a massive detonation. The explosion separates the turret from the body of the tank. Imagine how strong the impact must be for dozens of tons of metal to fly so easily into the air. The Ukrainians assess the results of their successful operation. The tank is torn apart. The multi-ton turret lies nearby. Seeing this, the Russians abandon the second tank, and rightly so, as the Ukrainian drone hovers over it. The operator has the chance to target the most vulnerable spot of the Russian tank. And here's the result. Another turret is ripped off. The fuel that fires next to the tank is burning very beautifully. Perhaps the Russian soldiers, seeing what happened to the previous APCs, decided to just run. The drone closes in on the target and there's another explosion. Where were they transporting all that explosives? Now it's the turn of a Russian tank. The mine plow helps it traverse the field until the middle, but then the drone. The drone disables the navigation systems. Now the AFU must finish what they started. Another drone strikes, setting it ablaze. Russian soldiers abandon their APCs after another failed assault, and rightly so. This APC definitely wouldn't have protected them. Just like in this case, the Ukrainian drone drops a grenade right inside. 
fuel and ammunition start burning. The temperature rises too high. The tin can is pierced. Reinforcements are on the way, as is the Ukrainian drone. Right after the strike, the APC halts. Perfect target for another attack. And here's the APC that was hit at the beginning of this crazy assault. Now all are destroyed. The same thing happens with this tank. The grenade explodes inside the tank, causing a fierce fire, which in turn leads to a massive explosion. The chassis, turret, and parts of the hull are scattered over hundreds of meters. Shrapnel damages a neighboring abandoned tank. The next target could cost up to $650 million. Two Russian SAMs are here to intercept air targets. The Ukrainians make precise strikes with HIMARS rockets. Both targets and the engineering vehicle are destroyed. Six SAMs in one video. Let's start with these two. HIMARS makes a precise strike, destroying the launcher. The situation repeats. First explosion. Second. The SAMs are on fire. Do you think this will affect the Russians? Number another two SAMs down. If these are the simple Buck M1s, the Russian losses in this case alone amount to one billion dollars. This equipment is used by the Russians for remote mining. It's called Zemledeli and costs between five to ten million dollars. The Ukrainian reconnaissance drone spots it and transmits the coordinates. A HIMARS rocket detonates just a few meters away, hitting the expensive system. Look how beautifully its explosives scatter 